Hello, welcome to Cooking with Mike and Victoria. I'm Mike. I'm Victoria. Today we're going to cook an Italian... <laughs> Hello, welcome to Cooking with Mike and Victoria. I'm Mike. I'm Victoria. Today we're going to bake an Italian dessert. An Italian almond lemon tort with fresh strawberries on top. We are baking a an almond lemon tort that Mike saw on a TV show, Ciao Italia, and we're going to bring it to our community cookout. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. Okay, Mike, you need to spray that bottom of that springform pan with cooking spray. That's good. And then there's the parchment. Where's the parchment that I cut out for you? Okay, put that in there. All right, set the pan aside. You can spray the top of it with a little more oil if you want, and the sides. And then you gotta dust it with some flour and tap out any excess. Okay, that's good. And then you gotta dust it with flour and tap out any excess. So now we've dusted the bottom of the pan with extra flour and we have tapped off the excess. Now it's time in a food processor to combine the sugar, the almonds, and process to oh. fine meal. All right, now Mike is going to blend the sugar with the natural almonds in a food processor. Stop. Mike's going to blend these things together until a fine meal forms. Nope, keep going. That looks pretty good. It's good, Mike. All right. Then you're going to add the cornmeal, the salt, and the baking powder, and pulse only until evenly blended. Set aside until needed. Combine this cornmeal, salt, and baking powder. Wait a minute, where's the... Now Mike's gonna add the cornmeal, the flour, the salt and the baking powder. And he's just going to blend it until it's evenly distributed in the food processor. Now we've set the blended ingredients aside, and now we're going to whisk the eggs, the olive oil. Now we set the blended mix together. Now you set the, the blended mixture and set it aside. And now we're going to whisk the olive oil, the milk, and the liquids together in a bowl. And then we're going to blend this all together and bake it and have a wonderful Italian almond lemon tort. So here go the eggs in a bowl. <laughs> whisk, whisk the eggs until smooth and evenly blended. So whisk, 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 whisk. Then I'm going to pour the olive oil in and, it, and he's going to continue whisking. You got the paper. You got to whisk a little harder. Seriously. All right, ready? Got to whisk harder than that. That's not whisking. Whisk like a madman. Around, around, around. Yeah, keep going. Go, go, go. Go hard. Let's go. You get the paper out of the camera. 
Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, I can't our, read a lot. Our friends just, cannot see what I'm doing here. All right, so. All right. Just pour it in, please, and then I'll finish up. Come on. Victoria. Whisking in smooth and creamy, whisk the milk and vanilla. That's and we'll whisk in the lemon juice. See, it clumps up when you stop. See how they're turning into mayonnaise? That's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Milk. Whisk in the milk and vanilla. And then you whisk in the lemon juice and zest. Oh, that's not what it says to do. Where's the vanilla? Okay. Now, let's go. I think we're ready to put it into the pan. It's not supposed to be smooth. It's, it's going to have lumps in it. All right, here it goes into the pan. And now we put in the pan into the preheated oven, preheated to 350 degrees. Remember to preheat your oven before you start mixing the cake. We're ready to put it in the oven and uh, let's wait and see what turns out. And Victoria, what? How long are we baking this lovely cake? Oh gosh, uh, forty-five to fifty minutes, or until the sides pull slightly away from the sides of the pan, and the top center is set, but slightly moist and beautiful, rich golden brown. Great! I can't wait. So uh, come back real soon, and we'll show you the finished product. You can just throw some of the uh, strawberries in a bowl of water, cold water. And just, uh, you know, what you want to do is just get some of the, the grit off the strawberries. We're not going to soak them. We're just going to get the, the grit off of them. So there's nothing worse than biting into the strawberry with a lot of grit on it. And then we take a, a, a spoon, a drainer spoon, and we simply take the strawberries out of the water and place them on a towel, such. Get them all out. And let them dry on the towel. And then we can just pat them dry like so and the strawberries are now ready to go and ready to
be placed on top of the cake when it's done. The cake is done and now we're going to take it out of the oven and let it cool. Now, Victoria, show the people what the cake looks like. It's a work of art. Now we're going to let it cool before uh, removing it from the pan. While we're back and the cake is cool, we can take it out of the pan now. It cools under an hour, so it's uh, ready to go. And I'm going to let Victoria show you how to remove the cake from the pan. You can lower it. Yep. Go down, 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 down. All right. Since this is a spring form pan, it should be pretty easy. I can unbuckle this, which will. All right, should release the bottom. I'm just gonna push it up a little bit. Okay, now, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn it over onto this plate and gently pull the top off and remove the parchment. So now there's a nice sticky surface to put these strawberries on. Cut. So I've cut these strawberries, washed them as, as you saw earlier, and I'm just going to randomly place them around. I'm not going to get artistic because these strawberries don't lend themselves to artistry. But in our next version, we hope to have beautiful strawberries to do something a little fancier with. In the meantime, I think you get the idea that you just need to put some fruit on this cake. It can be strawberries, it can be kiwis, blueberries, peaches, any combination thereof. And here is our finished Italian ham and lemon cake ready for some whipped cream.